Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about root finding or roots you might call finding. Let's just call it root finding. And we're going to do it for a system of linear equations. We're going to do it for polynomials and we're going to do it for nonlinear functions. And to do that, not only we need NumPy, we also need from NumPy polynomial, the polynomial method. And for the first time, we have to bring in something from the SciPy library, from SciPy optimize the root command to find roots of a nonlinear function. SciPy is a scientific library written based on Python and NumPy that can do lots of different operations, uh, mostly numerical ones like root finding, like optimization problems, like uh, differentiation, integration, uh, Fourier transform, and so many more that in my upcoming videos, you're going to learn about them. So stay tuned and learn about SciPy as well. So the first thing we're going to do is to solve a system of linear equations. And here, let's say we have two equations and two unknowns. And this A is my coefficient matrix, 1, 2, 3, 5. So my equations are like x plus 2y. And then this is the right-hand side, the fixed right-hand side. So my equation is uh, 1x plus 3y equals 1. And then 2x plus 5y equals uh, 2. Let me just write them down for you here. Plus, uh, then 2 times y equals 1. And then you have uh, 3x plus uh, 5 times y equals 2. And here all I need is to use under NumPy the linear algebra a submodule and use the solve method from there and pass to it A and B. And that is going to be my solution, which could be inverse of A times B, or it uses Gauss-Jordan elimination method. So let me go ahead and run this part of the code for you. So you see the result, and you clearly see that the numbers are negative 1 and 1, which if you plug into these two equations, you see it matches. So this is solving a set of linear equations, np.linealgebra.solve. And if you want, you can rename this whole thing as LA, like I did in my previous uh, video. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to talk about polynomials, forming polynomials, as well as finding the roots of these polynomials. So, uh, if we want to form a polynomial, there are two ways I can do it. One is I have the coefficients of it, which I can form a polynomial. Of course, that's very easy. The other way is I have the roots of the polynomial and then use the method polynomial from roots, and that gives me the polynomial. Right, so P1 and P2 are polynomials, and I can show them. And if I have the coefficients of a polynomial like this one, I can use the method called NP roots, just like MATLAB. MATLAB has the command roots, and that will give you the roots of a polynomial. So if I pass the roots command to a polynomial, then uh, the coefficients of the polynomial pass them to the roots command. Sorry, the other way, pass the coefficients of the polynomial to the roots command, then I should get the roots, right? So here, let me show you how these guys would work. So you see that if I have the coefficients 3, 2, and 1, well, of course, my polynomial is going to be this, right? So the first one is the coefficient of the largest term, the uh, basically highest order term, x squared. The next one is the coefficient of x, and this one is the constant term. I can do it from the root. So if a polynomial has coefficients, uh, roots of negative 1 and 1, that polynomial is what? It is x squared minus 1. And this is 0 times x. And if a polynomial has coefficients 3, 2, and 1, then the roots of that polynomial is, of course, what? Complex numbers. So it's negative 1 third plus 0.471j and negative 1 third minus 0.471j, of course, complex conjugates, right? So here is the method to find roots of a polynomial, right? And finally, the last thing we want to do is to work on what? To work on a nonlinear function. If I have a nonlinear function, how can I find the roots to that nonlinear function? So here I define a nonlinear function to be x plus 2 cosine of x. And for cosine, I use the NumPy cosine, or I can use the math cosine. 
So my function is x plus 2 cosine of x equals 0. So where is it that this function equals 0? So I pass that function to the root method, and this root is different from this roots. This roots is under NumPy, and it's roots. This guy is root, and this is under SciPy optimize. I give it an initial guess, and then this method, uh, this uh, function is probably using newton raphson method or bisection method, or there are so many other methods. I have one video on my channel under engineering mathematics. It says root finding for nonlinear functions. You can see all different methods. Most probably it is a newton raphson method because it needs an initial guess. And then uh, it returns a solution to you. And the solution, you can look at the uh, final answer, which is the root. But if you want, there is more to this solution. So instead of solution.x, you can look at the whole solution if you want. And this whole solution has more information than just what the program converged to, the algorithm converged to. So let me show you this last part here. And uh, here you see that the x value that it is converged is negative uh, 1.02. And this number is, by the way, in radians because it has cosine of x in it. So if you pass this number to that function, the answer should be very, very close to zero. The, and you see the solution has more to it. So did it converge? Yes, success is true. And then it has more, right? So here it shows the value that it has finally. It's negative 6.6 .6 to the 10 to the 16. So this is the value of the function at this root, which is practically zero. You see the message is it converged. And then the uh, iterations, as far as I can see, is 10 iterations, OK? So in 10 iterations, Starting from 0.3, it has converged to negative 1.029, okay? So you can see the solution, but as I said, if you just want the number, then you say solution.x, and it only shows that x number, right? So, uh, but it's good. You can say if the success is true, then show x, right? So you can add something here. Say if, right, solution dot success which has a um, true value so if that is the case then go ahead and what show me the solution otherwise don't show me the solution because you had not converged to anything right so if that is true then show me the solution so you can here work on a little bit more advanced uh, programming here and you see it does for you here okay so I assume that uh, you learned how to find the roots of nonlinear functions, polynomials, and uh, then solve a system of linear equations. And hopefully this video was useful to you, so I'll see you in my next lecture. Thank you.